My name is Kit. I'm a copywriter for Farm Girl Flowers, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Miami Vice cocktail. We're making this cocktail today because we have an arrangement of the same name which we put out to celebrate the opening of our new facility in Florida. The arrangement, is also called Miami Vices, comes in this cute little pineapple shaped cocktail shaker. And so once you, the arrangement is done, you can take the shaker and make this cocktail. Here we go! The Miami Vice's cocktail is like a pina colada and a strawberry daiquiri mixed together. And the recipe that I'm going to show you how to make today is based on the recipe from the Broken Shaker, which is a bar in Miami. What you'll need, your pineapple cocktail shaker from your Miami Vice's arrangement, some strawberries. I'm using frozen ones today. Um, they're more readily available right now because we're at the tail end of strawberry season in California some simple syrup which is just equal parts sugar and water you can just mix by um by volume like a cup of sugar with a cup of warm to hot water and shake it or stir it until it's dissolved it's your simple syrup cream of coconut which you can see here and this is a recipe where i've mixed equal parts coco lopez like the original and um, coconut cream in equal parts just mixed together. It makes like, you have the best of both worlds. It's like a deeper, richer flavor than Coco Lopez alone and a little bit sweeter than the cream of coconut by itself. If you don't have cream of coconut or coconut cream at your grocery store, the Coco Lopez will work just fine. Pineapple juice. You could juice that fresh, but I'm using canned. The recipe calls for a little bit of white rum and a little bit of dark rum. I would say you could really play around with the rums so that you're gonna use in the recipe to like suit your taste. I'm gonna use some coconut rum and some five-year-old amber rum. They're both relatively straightforward, not super funky, so I think that makes a better cocktail. This is definitely leaning on the sweet, more fun side, so just keep that in mind when you're choosing your rums. We're gonna start by muddling some of the strawberries in the bottom of our glass because it's gonna give us this like cool like parfait layered effect. We'll take one or two, and if, if they're frozen, mine are, so I, I let them thaw a little bit so they kind of got nice and syrupy already. I'm gonna put two in there, and then we're gonna put just like a spoonful, which is probably like a half an ounce of the one-to-one -one simple syrup. Um, use your muddler, or if you don't have one of these at home, you can even use like the back of the, the spoon that you used. Stay right there. Okay. <laughs> and just squish the strawberries um, kind of into a consistency that you like. I don't like super chunky stuff at the bottom of the glass, so I kind of really get in there. And it's not like mint where it'll get bitter if you muddle it too much or anything, so you can really kind of go to town. You could even probably do this in a blender if you wanted to. That's muddled. That's gonna sit there for just a second. Now we're gonna take our shaker, and the shaker comes in three parts because this is a cobbler style shaker, so it kind of comes with its own strainer in. So the little, <laughs> the little pineapple top um, is covers that, and then the top comes off so you can build in the cup. So take that all off, and we're gonna build the cocktail to shake inside it. Let's start with our simple syrup. I'm using a Japanese style jigger to measure out my ingredients today. Um, I like these because they're tall and narrow and they're really accurate for measuring. But if you don't have that, there's these little OXO measuring cups that you can use in your house that are very accurate. Tablespoons and measuring cups, if you don't even have that, also work well. You can just measure the, you know, do the equivalencies online. Uh, an ounce is about 30 milliliters, and most of those things have metric equivalents. So we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of the simple syrup. Next thing, when you're building the cocktail, start with your cheap ingredients first, that way you can mess up and not losing alcohol. <laughs> an ounce and a quarter of the pineapple juice. This is one ounce on the top, so I'm just, um, I'm gonna go a little heavy. An ounce of the coconut cream. And I'm really going to the brim there because I also really love coconut cream. And now we're done. And we're doing an ounce of the dark. 
And I also, one of the other benefits of measuring your um, rum last is the coconut cream is kind of sticky, so it sits inside the jigger, and you can like kind of wash it out with the spirit you measure the rum last. And now an ounce of the, the light rum, which is my coconut rum. So that's all the ingredients for the drink, and now I'm gonna shake it. I'm gonna go fill my pineapple shaker with ice. And then I'm also gonna fill my glass with the melted strawberries with ice. I'm using full cubes in the shaker. These are better to shake on. But I'm gonna put crushed ice. I'm getting it from a machine. So I'm gonna get crushed ice from the machine for the cocktail. You could use full cubes, though, if you don't have crushed ice, it's totally fine. All right, so now our cocktail glass with the strawberries at the bottom is full of crushed ice, and we filled our tin with cubes, and we're gonna shake. So securely attach the top of the pineapple and the little cap, because otherwise you shake the liquid right out of there and hold on to that when you're shaking too. And <laughs> it doesn't need to be shaken very long. It's just to combine and give it a chill too. And so to strain off, you'll just remove the cap off the top of the pineapple shaker. And still hold on to the top, even though when it's cold, it's got a pretty good seal. And you'll just strain right on top of your and you can see it kind of layers naturally over the strawberry. Ooh. <laughs> I like the way it looks when it's really mounded with ice. So just putting a little bit like that, it's pretty. To garnish umbrellas. <laughs> Mama choose a green one. And some pineapple leaves. One. And two. So it's like a little bunny. Does that look good? 